Hello, I am Dr. Suraj Chiranya, Hematologist and BMT Physician. Welcome to our channel. Today we will discuss what is anemia. Anemia in simple mean decrease in red blood cell count means decrease in hemoglobin. Usually this RBC or hemoglobin is important to carry oxygen that is purified in lung and heart to other areas of your, our body for effective utilization. Because of uh, anemia means low hemoglobin, the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood decreases that leads to a striving for more oxygen so that patient can become a dysnic or pain because hemoglobin imparts pink color to our body decrease in hemoglobin causes paleness of the body now we will discuss what are types and causes of anemia types of anemia depends on the quantity of hemoglobin inside our body generally we categorize as mild moderate or severe anemia mild anemia means any hemoglobin that is more than 9 but less than uh, the normal quantity. Moderate anemia is when hemoglobin is between 7 to 9 and severe anemia means hemoglobin less than 7 but different test book or different people has little bit different variation in these ranges but what I told it is a broad range. Second is what are causes of anemia most common cause in Indian population is a nutritional anemia. Nutritional anemia happen because of the low iron or vitamin intake specifically vitamin B12 and folic acid intake. This leads to a anemia. Anemia due to iron we call as iron deficiency anemia while anemia due to the vitamin B12 and folic acid we call it as a megaloblastic anemia. Most common cause of this nutritional anemia is low appetite or dietary habits that leads to decrease intake of iron, vitamin B12 and folic acid. Sometimes there can be bleeding through piles or some areas of the intestine which bleeds might be due to the chronic parasitic infection that can lead to the anemia. Second, Common causes of anemia are hemoglobinopathies. Hemoglobinopathies are disorders where RBC size, shape and functions are defective that leads to decrease on, uh, uh, oxygen carrying capacity leading to symptoms as well as symptoms of anemia. Third, causes can be due to the various infection, bacteria, viral or uh, fungal infection that causes depression of bone marrow cells that gives rise to anemia or there are sometimes very rare conditions like uh, aplastic anemia but usually in aplastic anemia along with hemoglobin other cells are also affected pure cell aplasia where only the red blood cells are affected so coming to next uh, point of discussion what are symptoms of this anemia as we told hemoglobin carries oxygen from the spleen uh, sorry lung and heart to other areas of the body it leads to breathing difficulties means patient after doing some exertional activity because uh, the oxygen required demands higher but body can't fulfill it because of the low hemoglobin this gives rise to dyspnea on exertion. Second, paleness of the body. So, body can become pale because hemoglobin gives pink color to the skin. Third, jaundice. Sometimes the anemias like hemolytic anemia or hemoglobinopathies as we discussed can give rise to destruction and this increased destruction sometimes uh, the degraded component of the hemoglobin can't passed uh, from the body so they collected in the body causing 
jaundice fourth there can be a uh, mouth ulcers in case of uh, megaloblastic anemia there can be a mouth ulcers we can also observe so that's all for today's information on anemia until next stay tuned stay informed thank you